Hello everyone! Do you remember João Mendes? Six months ago we told you about the son of the legendary Brazilian Ronaldinho, who begins his football career at home and follows in the footsteps of his father. Recently the kid has already turned 16 years old. It's time to get the attention of the big clubs, isn't it? In today's video we will tell you how Ronaldinho's son lives now, whether he looks like his famous dad and what kind of tragedy happened in Ronnie's family lately. Give a like to this video and let's get going! Let us remind you who João Mendes is. Ronaldinho's son was born in 2005 when the magician performed for Barca. Ronnie was married to the dancer Janaina Mendes, whom he met in one of the clubs in Rio de Janeiro. The footballer was happy when he had a son. It seemed that this occasion would finally change his part in lifestyle, but actually it didn't. Already in 2006, Ronaldinho and Janaina broke up. The football player, however, didn't cool off to his son as to his ex-wife. The boy grew up in a mansion in Rio de Janeiro on the full support of his stellar father. It's a pity that Ronnie himself didn't meet his son. Basically, they communicated only on Skype. While little Joao was growing up in Brazil, Ronaldinho played in Europe for Barcelona and Milan, and also continued to actively go to parties and change girls. If you take an example from such a dad, then only football skills must be considered. And this is what Ronaldinho Jr. actually did. Until the age of 13, Joao gained experience in the Flamengo Academy. Then his family moved from Rio and there was the moment when the guy was without a club. After some time, he successfully passed the run-through at the Cruzeiro Academy, where he still plays. There are still a few compilations of Ronnie's son's moves on YouTube, but many experts and representatives of Cruzeiro noted his talent. He quickly and skillfully acts in the attack and can be used in different positions. So far, Joao has his fame thanks to his magnificent father. With the help of Ronaldinho, he has already had a contract with Nike for two years. Although he is no beast yet in the football world, like Xavi Simmons for example. Does Ronnie spend time with his son? After completing his sports career, he began to devote much more time to Joao. Now these are not just Skype calls. Ronaldinho began to appear with his son at various events and brought him to an exhibition with his portraits at Maracana. The last photos with Joao appeared on Ronnie's Instagram at the end of 2019. The father and son often spent time together, played beach soccer and hung out at home with friends. 2020 has been a difficult year for Ronaldinho, and it's not just the coronavirus pandemic. We are to know that a year ago, Ronnie celebrated his 40th birthday in a Paraguayan prison. This is due to the fake passports with which the police detained Ronaldinho and his brother. The footballer tried to be released on bail of 1.5 million euros, but the court left him in jail. He had to somehow act with a new regime. During his time in prison, Ronnie even managed to take part in a football tournament and won a piglet. After Ronaldinho and his brother were released after a month in prison, they were placed under a house arrest in a hotel. The magician managed to return to Brazil only after another four months. The press claimed that by that time, Ronnie had become practically bankrupt. But after his release, he took up his mind and earned more than 700,000 euros. Moreover, in 2021, the whole Ronaldinho family had to get together to get through the tragedy that definitely shocked all relatives. In February 2021, Joao Mendes's grandmother and Ronaldinho's mother, Miguelina Eloy Assis Moreira, died of coronavirus. For two months, she was in a hospital due to the fact that she had a hard time suffering from the disease. Ronnie's mom never got better. Ronaldinho was shocked by this event to the core. Black profile pics appeared on his social networks. But the footballer himself couldn't say anything and didn't even go to the funeral because it was too much to handle. Similar mourning pics appeared among other family members, in particular Joao. There is no doubt that Ronnie's son was about to help him accept the loss. After all, this is a common family grief. After some time, Ronnie found the strength and spoke about what had happened. 
My mother was a source of strength and joy to everyone who knew her. We will continue to use her light in our lives. With the power that she gave us, we will continue our journey. Thank you. He wrote on Instagram. Well, let's not talk about sad things. Let's see how far the career of Joao Mendes can be developed and in what ways he will repeat the path of his father. Ronaldinho was noticeable at the age of 13. He played for Belo Horizonte and scored 23 goals in one game against the opposing team. At that time, many Brazilian media wrote about this event. Ronnie's son was recognized when he went to Cruzeiro. João Mendes was the best of 88 youngsters on screening. And it wasn't because of his famous dad. At the overall selection, the guy didn't tell anyone about his cool football genes and played with others at the same status. He was taken to the team because of his good skills and good dimensions for a forward. And only then it turned out that Cruzeiro signed the son of Ronaldinho himself. What awaits Ronaldinho's son in his football future? The examples of other children of Brazilian soccer stars are not impressive. The son of the phenomenon Ronaldo was called up to the Brazilian youth team, but chose a career as a DJ. Rivaldo's son traveled around the Brazilian championship, but in Europe he has not achieved anything so far. At 25, he plays for Cracovia in the Polish championship. One of the sons of Roberto Carlos, Christopher, is still trying to prove himself in the children's teams of Real. Cafu's son, Wellington, tried to find himself in football but was constantly left without a club. João Mendes and his mother, Janaina, immediately realized that they did want the same path as other children of star football players. João must achieve everything by himself. That's why the players snubbed PSG's offer when, at the age of 13, he did well in the tournament at their academy. In Brazil, football is taught clearly not worse, but for Europe, the boy was still too young. First of all, you need to break into the main team of Cruzeiro and sign the first professional contract with the club. Show yourself at home in Brazil and only then you can think about Europe. However, Joao is unlikely to immediately think about the top club. At first, it seemed he would move not to the greatest team, but to the one where he can do his best and be on the football radar at the same time. Only then the dreams of going to Barcelona can come true. Ronaldinho himself followed a similar path. In Brazil he played for Grêmio for several seasons, then moved to PSG, which then wasn't really tearing up in Europe. The Parisians paid only 5 million euros for the wizard. After a couple of seasons in Europe, an offer has already been received from Barcelona. In that club, Ronaldinho played the best football in his entire career and won the Ballon d'Or. If Joao Mendes was promoted as the son of the legendary Ronaldinho, then surely YouTube would have been already filled with a bunch of compilations of his game, and agents from all over the world would look after him even without any special manifestations of talent. After all, the boy has the wizard genes. But could Joao handle such pressure? To be fair, it would be hard for him. He's still a child and it's too early for him to compare himself with his father, who was a star. Let's wait, suggested John Aina Mendes. The executive director of the Cruzeiro Academy, Gustavo Ferreira, positively assesses Joao's work at the club. Ronaldinho's son is very cool. He has good technique, natural abilities and also a football mind. He's treated the same as all the other Cruzeiro players, noted Ferreira in a recent interview. Joao's mom closely monitors her son's career and limits the pressure on the young footballer. No interviews and news stories for the media. At the age of 16, it is too early to get on the covers of all the tabloids, even if your dad is so famous. Due to such closure, we rarely see photos and videos from the pitch, but we would certainly like to assess Joao's shape now and whether he is progressing in recent years. Despite the strictness of the agent mother, Joao Mendes can afford a lot in everyday life. No one was against the change of image. Several times he dyed his hair blonde, last year he got his first tattoos and it looks like the parents didn't mind. Joao communicates with the world through Instagram and Twitter. He already has more than 2,000 subscribers and this number is constantly growing. For six months now, he has been dating a girl named Giovanna. 
and sometimes shares joint photos with his girlfriend. In a word, João Mendes lives an ordinary life of a 16-year-old Brazilian boy and slowly building a football career. It's too early to talk about whether Ronaldinho's son can become a top footballer and not disappoint his father, but the approach of Mendes and his mother really captivates. It seems that they will be fine. We are waiting for Joao's transfer to the first team of Cruzeiro and the first insights of where he will end up in Europe. Do you think Ronaldinho's son can become a football star? Write your opinion in the comments below. Well, it was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.